What's up everybody? It's Johnny and I'm back. In today's video, I am talking about taxes. With the new year comes a new tax season and tax season is all about deadlines. All the different dates can be very overwhelming and no one wants to miss a deadline and pay a penalty. In today's video, I am going to lay out all the important tax deadlines in order to keep things clear concise and easy to follow, I'm going to do today's video in a Q&A question and answer format. I'm answering the five biggest questions I've seen about tax deadlines and penalties. Before I start diving into all of these questions, I just want to take a moment and say thank you so much for watching this video and please click that subscribe button so you do not miss out on any tax tips or any other videos which may help you. All right, here we go. Question number one. When is tax day? Tax day is April 18th, 2022. All individual personal income tax returns, also known as Form 1040s, are due to the IRS by April 18th. When I talk about April 18th, 2022, I'm referring specifically to the federal tax return. Please note, some states require a state tax return to be filed, and some states do not. Check with your own CPA regarding state requirements depending on where you live. Okay, question number two. So tax day is April 18th, but do I have to file by April 18th? And what if I can't pay the tax by then? So this is a two-part question. Filing versus paying. So let's talk about filing first. You do not have to technically file your tax return by April 18th. By April 18th, you can request and file what is called a tax extension. I have a video on how to file a tax extension that I will link below. Filing a tax extension extends the due date to file a tax return to October 17th, 2022. Now, there is a big catch to this that many people do not understand. And this gets into the second part of the question, paying taxes. Remember, the original question was, do I have to file by April 18th? Which we've discussed, if you file a tax extension, you can extend to October. However, paying taxes is a separate issue. So, to clear this up, a tax extension gives you additional time to file your tax return. However, it does not give you more time to pay taxes due. If you owe tax, the tax is still due to be paid by April 18th. You can extend the filing date, but that payment date is April 18th. Many do not realize this and think because they extended their filing date, they can just pay taxes by October. Technically, you can pay the tax later, but you will incur interest and penalty. Taxes are bad enough, so it's best to avoid interest and penalties on top if you can. So, what if you can't pay the tax by April 18th? What options do you have? There is an option to set up an installment payment plan with the IRS. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Okay, that sums up question number two. Let's move on to question number three. What happens if I miss a date? Okay, so there are two penalties that are typically associated with tax returns. They are number one, the failure to file penalty, and number two, the failure to pay penalty. The failure to file penalty for a 1040 is 5% of the tax due per month up to a cap of 25% overall. The failure to pay penalty is half of 1% for each month or part of a month up to a maximum of 25% of the amount of tax that remains unpaid from the due date of the return until the tax is paid in full. To sum it up, if you miss a deadline, it is critically important to file as soon as possible. Okay, moving on to question number four. Let's talk briefly about tax estimates. What are the deadlines for quarterly estimated tax payments? To put this as simple as possible, if you make income but do not withhold payroll taxes during the year, the IRS requires quarterly estimated tax payments based upon that income earned. This usually applies to independent contractors, those who are self-employed, 
or people with investment earnings. The IRS has essentially divided the year into four payment periods and each period has its own due date. All right, so what I'm going to do right now is just list the dates of when income is earned and then the corresponding due date for the estimated tax payment, okay? So if you earned income from September 1st to December 31st of 2021, the estimated tax is due by January 18th, 2022. If you earned income from January 1st to March 31st of 2022, that estimated payment is due by April 18th, 2022. If you earned income from April 1st to May 31st of 2022, that estimate is due by June 15th, 2022. If you earned income from June 1st to August 31st, 2022, that estimated tax payment is due September 15th, 2022. And if you earned income from September 1st to December 31st, 2022, that estimate will be due on January 16th, 2023. And finally, let's go to the fifth biggest question I get, and that is, when should I expect to receive my W-2 form or my 1099 form so I can file timely? W-2 forms and some 1099 forms, such as the 1099 NEC, should be sent and received by January 31st, 2022. Other 1099 forms may arrive later, especially for invest investment income like a 1099-DIV by the end of February. Okay guys, that sums up today's video. Those are the five biggest questions that I typically see regarding tax season and tax deadlines. I will be uploading more videos with more tips and attempting to answer more questions, so please click that subscribe button if you have not already done so. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.